reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. I, Zechariah, raised my eyes and looked. There was a man with a measuring line in his hand. I asked, Where are you going? He answered, To measure Jerusalem, to see how great is its width and how great its length. Then the angel who spoke with me advanced, and another angel came out to meet him and said to him, Run, tell this to that young man. People will live in Jerusalem as though in open country, because of the multitude of men and beasts in their midst. But I will be for her an encircling wall of fire, says the Lord, and I will be the glory in her midst. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. Responsorial Psalm The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant coasts and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hands of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessing. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While they were all amazed at his every deed, Jesus said to his apostles, Pay attention to what I am telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was hidden from them, so that they should not understand it and they were afraid to ask him about this saying. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for sending your beautiful Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross, to save lowly sinners such as ourselves. He suffered such an imaginable death to set us free. Every stripe on his back, the three nails that pierced his flesh and the blood that was shed was all for us. And yet, we still stray, like lost sheep trying to find our way home. Father, bring us back to you. We need you. Help us to withstand the evil of this world. 
Give us strength, O Lord, for we know you are our strength when we are weak and weary. Lord, we know that by giving our lives to you and putting you first does not mean we won't experience difficulties. But it means that we should be able to handle our situations more gracefully with you by our side. You will be our hope when all hope is lost, our strength when we are weak, our joy when we are sad, our healer when we are sick, our deliverer when we are lost. Amen.